Well, he used the fist, so let's try the fist. Nice. Lock me in a room with that moth and a flamethrower. There will be no moth. I believe that. All right. Interesting. Oof. I want to summon him right away, but... Okay, we're gonna... Also, no room. <laughs> I already like your random person. Oh, Buzz, he's a, he's amazing. He, he is random for you, but he actually uh, is also friends with me on Xbox. And he uh, came from, I, I believe it was Diablo, where he saw me. I'm, I'm pretty sure, because that's what I remember. But yeah, he's been around a lot. All right, so we're going to summon the Howler. We'll take the risk. Uh, you know what? No, no, no risk. Really? You won't let me... Oh, I guess I don't have a choice. I was going to change it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Maybe I can get the Petite Moth out in defense mode if he kills it. Ah. Ouch. I found Moon during Army of Two. Yes. Uh, oh, crap. So, I kind of want to sacrifice, but I'm afraid. I then also kind of want to summon Petite Moth, but I'm afraid. Well, we might as well do Forest, though. Because he couldn't play that during the last one. Yeah, I know. I knew it was going to die, too, but I was hoping it was going to last till I finished the stream. Second, I can see why Weevil lost. <sighs> We're going to keep him. This card is destroyed by battle. Yep. All right. Controller is now gone. My, it's sensitivity stay high through hell. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I guess we got two cocoons, though, right? So we can at least set one for a uh, defensive strike. Hmm, Sangin. But yeah, I can definitely see why he lost with this deck. The sad part is... 
Yes. Well, that was kind of stupid of him to do. Oh, did you check out the DMC anime yet? I have not, but I am getting close to getting to it. Nice. Okay, because I want to put Cocoon of Evolution on, so I am going to summon... It's on my list, though. Nice. All right. Too bad it doesn't bring the moth like it should, though. Uh, we'll keep the cocoon because we may need it. So we're going to go ahead and summon a killer bee. And then we'll sacrifice it for Hercules beetle. Next turn. Well, thank God for its burning land. This is actually helping. Card I can activate? Oh. I've never actually seen this one. So this ought to be interesting. Okay. So, you read one insect monster from either field equipped with an equip card. And if you do, special summon one insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one insect monster in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck the effect of Cocoon of Ultra Evolution once. Oh, I can banish. Okay. Yes, use it. It's Cocoon of Evolution's much better or much hotter brother on steroids. I see this. I mean, I know who I'm summoning, but I'm just seeing there's a great moth. Nice. And then the perfect. Is there anything else about the perfectly ultimate moth that I'm missing? Huh. On your sixth turn or later after it was equipped with Cocoon of Evolution. What does this one do? Anything fourth? Okay, so you kind of do, but you got to get it out. Well, that actually kind of really worked, didn't it? You know what? We're going to take a risk. I was going to sacrifice this over here, but with the 3,700, I can finish this, maybe. We're going to take the risk. Ah. All right, well. Oh, well. We wouldn't have done it anyway, regardless like, but. Oh, I guess we would have, wouldn't we? Ouch, nothing, really? Whatever. Looks like we did beat Yugi, though. With the perfect Leo. I overkill, right, Buzz? Not just that, but I out I outweaveled the Underbug. I actually got his perfectly ultimate Great Moth out, which he never gets out till Battle or until Battle City. So I times ten. Indeed. So yeah, I uh, 